Hello, in this video we shall check some of the things that might go wrong with the Windows 8 virtual box installation. If you get this error message in the beginning then we have a setting that is missing and we will see where to turn it on. And this same error message actually comes in Windows 7 if you have a older virtual machine and you're loading it up. The virtual box for, box for some reason is not actually going to give you the right setting. So in settings, in system, the enable IO APIC. And now the system will boot up. However, there's another one, other problem that will come along if, y if the uh, settings have not been modified from the original settings that VirtualBox puts on virtual uh, machines when you create a Windows 8 machine. So just continue with the basic settings that you want for the Windows machine. And click Next and Install. accept the license terms and select custom and at this point the disk has not been allocated so just click next and it will start to copy the files but there's going to be another problem which we'll see soon the installation is going to get stuck it, uh, it sometimes gets stuck at 92 sometimes at 98 but nevertheless it gets stuck so we'll have to restart the machine and say change the settings. So we go to settings and we go to system. We go to processor and we enable the P8. And check that the VT and AMD V and enabled page nesting has been uh, uh, selected. And we also need to select set the use host IO cache. And then we just power it on. Now you need to press a key because there is already a bootloader. And now we'll just do the same thing that we did last time. Select the proper settings and de delete the hardware partitions when they actually arrive in front of us. Just accept the license terms, click next, select custom, and then delete the partitions. And click next. And now the installation will proceed to the end. Thank you for watching and if you feel like this video has been informative for you then please click like.